Francine. Well, yeah, regardless, your name would be Mrs. Frank. Huh. Anyways, what did the bastard do to you? He struck me down. <laughs> right after he heard you were here. And now he's gone to his boss. Can you protect me? I can only do so much. I can only protect you if you give me information about your husband and everything the Foundation needs to know about him. Believe me, Mrs. Burns, you're better off. Your husband's a dangerous man. A very dangerous man. But I can protect you. Yes. Very well, then. I'll tell you everything... everything you need to know. Well, I'm going to 
going to need to know all his legal activities to begin with. And then, we're probably going to have to go through some files and such. But we can't do it here. We're going to have to go... You're going to have to come with me if I'm to protect you. I don't... I... Yes. I suppose... I suppose I must. Yes, I'll go with you, Michael. I'll go with you at once. Good. Come with me. The car's outside. Kit, looks like you got a passenger, pal. Francine Burns. Meet Kit. Kit, Francine Burns. Oval team. My... Huh? Why are you introducing me to your car? Hello, Mrs. Burns. It is very nice to meet you. Please have a seat. What the hell? Oh my god! Your car talks? Kid, it's a very special kind of car, Mrs. Burns. I'll explain on the way. Now get in. We have no time to lose. Now, Miss Burns, you will see I am fully equipped to do anything there is. Oh my god. This is going to be weird. I assure you, Mrs. Burns, it will be very quite safe. Come on, Kit. Let's head over to the Foundation. We have no ch no time. Please, Miss Burns. I urge you to buckle your safety belt for safety. Oh, God. I can't believe. I never thought I'd see the day when there would be a talking car. And I have never thought I'd see the day where I have a female passenger inside of me. It's rather quite unusual. I'm used to Michael running his mouth all the time. Come on, pal. Let's just get out of here. Right, Michael.
Yes, yes. Uh, well, good analogy, Michael. Good job, Michael, catching this uh, this woman. How on earth did you get her to talk anyway? Well, I promised her protection. You know we can't properly protect people like this, Michael. Please, you gotta quit telling these people that. I will let it go this time. She can stay here on the truck. On the truck? Won't those guys try to use sting iron missiles to fire against the truck and blow you guys to bits and kill her too? Well, if they do that, then they kill me and Bonnie, don't they? She's the safest she's gonna get here, Michael. 